Hello everybody, this is Pun Frugal Streamer. I wanted to talk about something in OBS, all the ver different versions of OBS, that a lot of people overlook when they're making their sources and building their overlays and scenes. And that is a thing called nested scenes. So I'm gonna talk about what nested scenes are and how you can use them in a couple specific ways I really think you should be using to help upgrade your live stream and maybe even give yourself a little bit of an extra custom look. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. Before we get into the tutorial, I wanted to talk about my new partnership with Place It by Envato. Now, Place It is a service for people that do not have a lot of graphic skills, such as myself, where they can go and get all kinds of graphics for their needs. Uh, Place It provides graphics and designs for pretty much anything you can think about, and it's perfect for new and upcoming streamers who want to customize their OBS scenes and overlays and Twitch labels, all sorts of things that are provided with places. So I'll provide my affiliate link down in the description below where you can go and check out what place it offers. So make sure you use that affiliate link. I appreciate it. So now let's go ahead and get into the video. So what is a nested scene? Well, a nested scene is really easy. All it is, is you're taking one scene and you are putting it into another scene. You're nesting it into another scene. So you have two scenes in one, basically. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to make changes to the one scene. And then what it can do is it'll act global, which means that it'll change wherever you use it anywhere else. The first way that I believe you should use nested scenes is with your alerts. That's something that you're going to have on every scene or just about every scene, at least most people do. So when you add a alert to a nested scene or as a nested scene, you have the ability then to change anything on that nested scene. And when you change that, it will update with every of your main scenes that you're using that nested scene in. Instead of having it as a source in each of those individual scenes, and you'd have to go into the, that source and change each of those individually. Now you just do it once with a nested scene and it changes automatically. And that's how I'm gonna show you here. So what I have done is I have my, this is my uh, OBS studio on my gaming PC. And I have a couple scenes here. I've got this main scene that is my camera right here that I see, and then I've got another scene where I've got alerts built in. All right, so this is the nested scene. Uh, I have my Streamlab alerts link there. I can test it and get the alert up. And you should see it right there is the alert. And then what I'm going to do is then I'm going to add this to the main scene where my camera is. All right, so you're going to hit the plus sign under your source list and you have the ability to select the scene here. So instead of going and making a source, you'll make a scene and I'm going to use scene two, which is what I have made for my alerts. And now I should be able to test the alert and it should show up right there, which is really cool. All right. So if you need to make any changes to your alerts, say you want to resize them and make them bigger. All right. So go to the scene and then change the size of the scene. Or say if you want to add a filter, instead of adding a filter to the source, add a filter to the scene. You have that ability now. And by doing that, let's add a filter. We'll add a blur. And we will just kind of make this look blurry. And you can see that this does change in all of the scenes. So I'm going to just bump this up a little bit. All right. So let's test the scene out. And we should see it change again. And so you see it's blurry there. You see it's blurry there. So by changing that one time, it's updated every instance that you've used it in the other scenes. What we're going to do with this next nested scene is we're going to use my webcam and we're going to use it to make a background. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I've got my normal scene and I've named it camera. Okay, then scene two, I've also gone in and added my camera, which is this NDI source. And what I'm gonna do now is I wanna add some filters to this second scene. All right, so the second scene, I'm going to add a blur again. So we'll bring that in, we'll do a Gaussian, we'll 
bring it in and of course you see it change which is what we want this time we're going to make it kind of bl really blurry like that there you go all right and then we'll add another filter and we'll do some uh let's do some color grading all right let's go down here to all offset and we're going to bring it and get it really dark like that right there all right so that is our let's just say let's call this our background all right so what we'll do now is here we will resize our camera okay like so and then we will go and add a new scene and we'll select scene two all right of course let's get it below and so what you now have is you have two of the same sources in theory you have your webcam being displayed twice but because you use one of them as a nested scene you can then go and add things to it and change the way it looks without affecting your main camera that you would use for your webcam all right so that's what's really cool about using your webcam uh, as nested scenes i could also go into this uh source in here and i can add say a frame or anything like that as a nested scene to, with the webcam and in, then any time that i want to add a webcam to any of my other scenes it'll have that camera frame with it so there's just options that you can do using nested scenes it's really cool so nested scenes really are a game changer it is something that everybody should be using you know especially for your alerts and your webcam in those two instances especially because you like i said you're going to be using them in a bunch of scenes and if you make any changes to the nested scene it'll update all of your different scenes at the same time saves a lot of time and you can just you know go do some customization to different things and, and see what you can do with making your own scenes with these uh, because uh, you know being able to use multiple items without affecting each other uh, gives you a lot of flexibility for customization which is really cool so anyway i'd love to see what you can do guys anyway listen i appreciate you watching this video if it helped you out i'd love for you to hit the like button it does help for the algorithm i need all the help i can get also subscribe if you enjoyed this because i make videos like this all the time and i'd love to see you come back and hit that bell for notification all right guys thanks for watching we'll see you later have a great weekend